everybody. So I just put the babies down for a nap. Last night was horrible for them. Um, I got a package. You guys are never gonna believe what it is. You're never gonna believe it. Could it be? It could be. It's baby clothes. So last night was really hard. Wesley would not sleep. And because of that, Maisie would not sleep. But Maisie was in a great mood. Every time Maisie woke up, she's like, it's morning. I was like, it's been five minutes, go back to sleep. Wesley has developed like a new cry. He's definitely getting those two top teeth. I know I've been saying this for weeks, but like for sure they're like, you can feel them and you can see them, but they're just not poking through and they're clearly driving him nuts and he's not sleeping. And it was a miserable night, miserable. He was doing this cry. I'm gonna show you a second of it. It was crazy, okay. <laughs> this gargly like, he sounds so angry because he was angry. He didn't feel good. So normally they have their first nap around like 10 a.m. ish, 11 a.m. 10 a.m. usually. Yeah. This morning their first nap was at like 7:30 because they woke up at five. They actually woke up all night long. It was like one, two, two thirty, three, three fifteen. 3.30, 4, it was like all night. So they already had a nap today and now they're having their second nap. And I'm gonna open up a package from Posh Puna. This is a company that used to send me and like gift me clothes all the time. They did not send this to me to gift me. I paid for these because I saw them on an ad on my Instagram. And I was like, oh, those are cute. And so then I just went and bought them. But they have sent me stuff in the past, like for Flynn. I think they sent me stuff for the twins like right when they were born. Um, but anyway, it's a very posh website. Look at this, Pac-Man. Get out of town. That is cute. Oh, look at the one for Maisie. <laughs> this looks too small for Wes. What size did I get? Nine to 12 months. Oh, God, my kids are so big. I have such big babies. It's so funny. I always thought I'd have big babies. I was a very big baby. Look at this little Pac Man bow. So cute. My whole family was big babies. Eric was a huge baby. I was I knew I would have a big baby, but all my babies were born early. Flynn was born at 36 weeks, and he was seven pounds something, and the twins were obviously very preemie, and so they were four pounds and then dropped down three pounds for a while. But once they grew into themselves and got past being like born early, all my babies were very big. You'll see women with preemie babies, once their babies come home, they go like, my baby is six months old, but three months adjusted. And they like say the adjusted age, because usually your baby develops a little bit slower, or whatever that means. Um, it just takes them a little longer to catch things, because they're supposed to be in the womb for a longer time. My babies, while they might be a little slower than the average baby to like roll over or do whatever because they're preemies, their size, it ain't preemie. Wesley's already in like the 80th percentile and Maisie, I think is like 60th or something. So they're big, but anyway, this is so cute. It's slinkies. <gasps> Look at that rainbow slinkies. And then a little dress version for Miss Maisie Jo. I thought this would look pretty with their eyes, so I got this. I know I'm crazy with how much I buy baby clothes, but the second they grow out of them, I donate them to women's shelters and friends and family, and I, I always donate their clothes. But this is my last time having children. And so I'm like, oh my God, I wanna buy everything that I want. I don't wanna regret like looking back and be like, I wish I had dressed them in this, or I wish I had gotten them this, or I wish I had done this. Like, it's my last time having babies. And I feel like the first few months of their life were just stressful and scary. And so like now I'm like just trying to enjoy the, all the things about having a baby. So it's just cute little clothes. Clouds, but I feel like this is gonna look so pretty with their eyes because they have bright blue eyes. Maisie especially, like this on Maisie, her eyes are gonna explode off her freaking face. How cute. Yeah, I wanted to get them some summery outfits because it's hot. It's like 97 degrees today. And it's gonna stay like this in LA for a very long time. Anyway, very cute. I'm very excited. Okay, now I'm gonna go get some work done. Bye. Okay guys, we painted some stuff last week. We got it back. And Corey said it looks good. I'm very excited. You wanna see what we got, Flynn? What do you have in that jar? <gasps> black Widow. That is the biggest Black Widow I've ever seen. It was in his playhouse. Oh my gosh, Flynn, that is crazy. Okay, we're gonna check out these plates and things. Oh my gosh, that's so cool! Coco painted that for you! What's on there? A beetle. A beetle? What's this? A worm. A worm? What's that? Uh, spider. A spider. What's this? Roly polies. Roly polies. What's that? Cricket? I don't know what that is. It's a cricket, it's... grasshopper, common green. It's everything. And what are these? Ladybugs. Mm -hmm. That looks awesome. Can you read what it says in the center? In the middle. Let's see what it says. It says, I love bugs. That yes. is so awesome. All right, let's check out this one. This is, ooh, Wesley's Toesies. <laughs> 
Wesley, do you like yeah. it? That is so cute. Look at his little feetsies, Flynn. Maisie's feetsies. Yeah. He's giving it to Maisie. There's Maisie's toesies. Whose hand is this? Flynn, whose is this? Who's Mine. Hand? That's Mine. your hand. Yeah. One more. I, I can do it. You want to do it? Okay. Flynn, you did such a good job. Look at that. That looks so good. Flynn, this is awesome. There's a cockroach on your plate. Ah! Are you gonna eat a cockroach for dinner? No. No. It's pickle time. These babies are my babies. They love pickles. It's very exciting for me. Because I love pickles. It's like my favorite thing. Yeah, I think they like that it's cold on their teeth. Um, but also delicious. How could you not love a pickle? Pickles are so good. Flynn does not like pickles. Flynn would spit it out and gag when I give like pickles as a baby. They go nuts. And this is the only food where like if you take it away, they'll start crying. But all other foods, they don't really care when you stop feeding it to them. This one, like, watch out. Is that so yummy? Okay, we got some packages, guys. You got some worms for me? Flynn keeps delivering packages of worms, don't you? No, no, actually they're clams. Oh, they're clams. So this is a package, and inside is clams. Thank you, I love this package. Can I open one of my packages? You wanna come sit next to me? Oh yeah, of course. I would sit right here. Oh, that's a great spot to sit. What do you think's gonna be in this box? I don't know. Snap, lovey. Oh, jump, jump rope, rope for daddy. Shoes for mommy. High top combos. Cut these covers. Those are cute. I'm Great, excited. Box. Hi, everyone. We just ordered groceries. Quinn said he wanted to help me unpack the groceries. And I just want to say, I'm curious if anyone else out there has a system when unpacking groceries. I have a system. I bet everyone does this. I bet it's not unique to me. I take everything out before I put it away. So everything that goes in the fridge, I put in a pile. Everything that goes in the pantry, I put in a pile. You know, I can put things in categories, the fruits, the snacks, like whatever. And then after everything's out, I get rid of all the bags, and then I put the stuff away. Is that how everyone else does it? Or do you guys do it like one thing at a time? Like, Nice. All right, Flynn, what do you got in your bag? Oh, I see you trying to steal something there, kid. Flynn found the Nutella on sticks. I was gonna put this not in the refrigerator. I was gonna put it like in the pantry. That's a great idea. You're gonna go do that right now? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Flynn has a different system than me. All right, what else we got? Oh, guys, I love this mac and cheese. It's so good. It's literally called World's Best Mac and Cheese, and I love it. Ooh, you'll love these, Flynn. These are like fruit leather thingies. I love those. I know, they're really yummy. Do you want one with dinner tonight? Yes, yes, yes. Which one? This one has apples and blueberries. This one's strawberry banana. Which one? This one, this one. Okay, this is the one Flynn wants with dinner. Texas toast because, hello, delicious. Do you like toast? Oh, yeah. Ah, and those are my favorite. We got cereal because I really want to make puppy chow. You want that Can I touch that? You want to touch the turkey? What do you think? Cereal is my favorite. What kind of cereal? This kind of, I um, mean. This one? Th yeah, that's my, that one's my favorite. Do you like these? <gasps> yes, 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 yes! One more bag, Flynn. One more bag. Oh, I was excited about these. Cornbread, Pillsbury cornbread. Those ones are my favorite. These are your favorite too? Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Is this your favorite? Nah. Is this your favorite? Yes! Okay. Is this your favorite? Is this your favorite? No. All right, time to put it away and eat some dinner. High five. <laughs> hey, cuties. Where's your legs this year?
10.30 p.m. And of course I made cookies. You guys know, whenever I make cookies, I don't actually make the entire batch of cookies. I just make a few cookies and then I put the rest in the fridge or the freezer to cook later so that I can have hot, fresh, homemade cookies from scratch whenever I want. Hot, fresh, you're talking to me? I'm talking to you, fresh. Hot, fresh. You're fresh, you're always so fresh. Yeah, I just talked to my family. I haven't talked to them in a long time. It was really nice to talk to Christopher and Jessica and all the kids. I haven't seen them in forever and I miss them so much. So hopefully we'll be seeing them somewhat soon again. Things have just been so busy. So yeah, it was good talking to them. Those are the most parachutey pants. The weirdest pants I've ever seen. They're very strange. I, they're cool. They're just not you. I've, I've never seen you in something like that before. They're... I'm never gonna wear them again. Why not? You don't like them? So what? They look too big, but I'm not also, cool. Also, they're very hot. It's like, but like, they are too big on you though, because like- They're like men's high-waisted pants as well. They're just too big on you, I think. Well, and even if, I mean, I rolled them because I was like, this is insane, but I think like, I think that's the style, net, like again. Yeah, that's very like 90s, 2000s. Show my naked like, feet, my nude feet. Baggy pants. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what fashion is. I'm an old lady. I don't know. Okay, I wanted to say something. First of all, that little sewing machine I got in the mail yesterday totally doesn't work. Waste of money. Also, the a few days ago, maybe last week, I got in the mail a lip stain that I saw some TikTokers say was really good. I saw a few TikTokers say this lip stain was amazing. And I have been trying this lip stain for a week. It's not good. <laughs> I'm not sponsored by anyone. No makeup products ever sponsor me. No makeup products ever send me anything, except for, of course, Ariana and Jacqueline. They send me their stuff. But other than that, like, I, this is, I'm not gonna, like, hurt myself by being honest about this. I don't know, maybe I'm not using it right, but I feel like I'm using it exactly as instructed. I can't remember what, it, I think it's Fenty lip stain. I don't know. Don't quote me on this. Please don't go be telling people why I said this. Um, this is just for you guys, because we're like frenzies, okay? This is like a sleepover talk. It's not like go blast it all over the place and make me look bad. I don't know anything about makeup, so obviously I'm an idiot and like, I don't know anything, but I'm just saying, I have tried this thing because everyone was like, whoa, this lip stain's amazing. There's no transfer and it stays on your lips for 700 years. First of all, every time I've worn it, I let it sit on my lips for as long as possible and it definitely comes off. There is totally transfer. It comes immediately off and it doesn't stain my lips at all. Like my lips stay, have the color on it just as long as like a lipstick or not even as long as a lipstick honestly I like it it's pretty but to me it's no different than wearing like a lipstick or a lip gloss like it I don't know why how they're getting away with calling it a lip stain because it does not stain your lips um the reason I'm telling you this because I think when I got it and I opened up the package that day I'm pretty sure I said I would let you guys know how I liked it so this is me telling you that I didn't like it I mean I liked it I just was disappointed because I thought it was gonna be lip stain and I wouldn't have to wear lipstick like all day long or because I wouldn't have to reply because it would just be on my lips anyway I don't think I have anything else substantial to say or of interest to say so i think i'm gonna go see what eric's doing i can hear him singing i'm gonna eat a cookie and probably eat a stomach ache and then edit and do some work and go to bed um so i might see you later but i probably won't so bye you can relax colleen and eric have a podcast the world is scary and we're locked in our home but now we have big microphones so you can relax that's the name of our podcast